hello everyone welcome to your budget friendly kitchen today we will be making a native stew also known as the yoruba stew here i have my washed and blended bell pepper chili peppers onions and two pieces of tomatoes you can see the color of our mix is popping next i'll be adding my palm oil to the pot and allow to heat up by the side is my diced onions I'll be going in with my diced onions at this point and stir gently. Stir until light brown and when brown you can go in with your tomato and pepper mix. Using more of chili and bell peppers for your native stew gives it a distinct taste entirely. Stir and allow to cook for 10 minutes. By the side is my preferred protein and for more also known as the cow skin. After 10 minutes, stir and add your seasoning cubes. salt to taste and I also like to add a little bit of smoked paprika this is to enhance the taste and give the stew a good aroma but this is totally optional you can decide to add whatever spice you want but for a Yoruba stew I prefer to leave it plain well at this point I would like to add my protein my grilled meats and my pomo you can stir gently and cover this to cook for five more minutes. At this point, the aroma in my kitchen is something else. I'll be having this with my leftover ewedu. You can have it with okra or whatever you would prefer to have it with. After five minutes, you can see the oil already settling on top of our stew with the meat and pomo well soaked in the stew. The aroma at this point is really, really feeling. You can only but imagine. And by the side, I have my semo in process. And like I said, I will be having this delicious stew with my leftover ewedu and semolina. You can decide to have it with amala or whatever swello you prefer. Here you can see our food is ready. Hope you enjoyed this video and please like and share and see you very soon. Bye.